What's up, you guys? It's your boy Next back with another video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to an old Kevin Samuels video. Honestly, just because I like Kevin Samuels doesn't make me a misogynist. Let me just say that right now, okay? So, this video right here is for the men and for men's self improvement. You feel me? That's the type of stuff that I love by Kevin Samuels. So, let's see what Kevin was talking about in this video. RP to him. It's sad how he died. Honestly, this world we live in is just crazy, man. It's why you got to, like, appreciate the time you got and really, like, go for your dreams. Because you never know. We don't know how much time we got in life. I know I'm being cliche right now, but it's so true. My boy Kevin. There are no excuses. And that's what I mean. If you're living behind, even if you cannot quantify it, there is something that comes along. But I use the money thing because you can immediately see. This is where I am. Let's say you're 30 years old and you're not making 45. Let's say you're 30 years old and you're making $30,000. $30, that means you need to get up in the morning and start living life with a sense of urgency. You need to start running your life like you are losing because you are running you cannot walk you cannot even speak well you need to start running and understand something the first thing is you need to be working 60 plus hours a week let me say that again if you're behind you cannot just work 60 hours a week you need to be working closer to 80 yeah that's right Nick that's right dude you need to lose some goddamn sleep and get out there and bust two full-time jobs to get your, your, your money up. Because until you get your money up, you cannot lead an adult male life. Not a happy one. You can live a ratchet one. You can date some lower caliber females. You know, twos, threes, and fours. You're gonna have a life of ratchets and fast food. And honestly, good dudes, it is going to be impossible for you to do what you need to do to catch up. Cause you, see, we talk about self, the longer you wait, the harder it is for you to catch up and to live the life you want. That's why you need to start chasing your dreams and doing what you need to do now. Improvement, here's where the rubber meets the road. You cannot hire a personal trainer, nutritionist, life coach, image consultant, any of these things because you don't make enough money. If you can barely pay your bills, you need another source of income. Let me tell you a story. So a couple months ago, I tried hiring a personal trainer and then I quickly realized, damn, I can't even afford this guy right now. That junk was like 300 and something dollars every two weeks. I couldn't afford that. I only had an extra like $200 after paying all my bills. Point is, that's why we need to get our money up. We could pay for these things to help improve us. If you need work, if you need to work on your speech, you could pay for a speech coach. You could pay for a personal trainer. You could pay somebody to help you learn crypto or whatever skill you trying to learn. You feel me? Income. I've hammered this. But this is what you got to do. You got to start working. I already said, if you're 40 and under, single, no kids, and you're not working 60 hours plus a week, you're lazy. But if you're behind financially, you need to be working closer to 80. Yeah, that's 16 hour days. That means all you do is sleep and work, sleep and work, sleep and work. And let me tell you what this means. You need to go into overdrive, zero excuses. That's the problem with men in our society. That was my problem years ago. My bad, I had to swallow real quick. But look, that was the problem with me. Like, I was creating so many excuses. So many people I grew up with. So many people that I got so much love for. All they do is create excuses. Ooh, I can never become successful like him. How you can't become successful, but that black man over there just became successful. You feel me? People want to create excuses for everything. One quote I'm going to leave you with, and then I'm going to stop pausing the video so much, is a quote that, honestly applies to my life a lot in the past and this quote is our greatest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure because if you don't accept that you are powerful beyond measure if you refuse this fact you you're okay with living in excuses you're okay with saying oh there's no way i could possibly become successful so i'm not gonna take full responsibility for my life once you realize that you are truly powerful beyond measure and you could do anything you put your mind to if you truly put in the work for it that opens so many doors for you mentally no women no dating no pussy chasing no none of that Put yourself in jail 
for at least a year to get your mind right. What the fuck you out here at the bar having a beer looking at a football game? Dude, you broke. You're only in these rooms and stuff and you're living a lie. That's why you're a lot of guys are depressed. So what you do is you kick life in the overdrive and take the money, the, the additional money you make, and you need to double down on self-improvement. That means if you've been able to get by on your one job, the next job, you need to go get a, get a psyche valve, find out what's holding you back, get a life coach. If you're out of shape, overweight, all this other thing, get a personal trainer, take your second job and use it to start improving your life. Because when you start looking and liking who you see, you'll do better. Any CIA man who's on his purpose and know your pockets is on short. When we talk about, yeah, man, we're going to go over to we're going to go over to the spot and then we're going to go have a couple of drinks. And, you know, you ain't got number 20 dollars in your pocket. And you and we say, OK, this round is on me. And, you know, you cannot buy a round. So if you've had to live a life of going to the bathroom when the round of drinks are bought or even worse, you're not around people like that. It's always I buy my stuff. You buy your stuff. Dude, you're dying on the inside every day because you don't go nowhere and do nothing because you know you don't want nobody to find out that you've been living living below. That's real talk. You feel bad. So it's like, I'm going to just go to work and go home. But see, what you're doing is beating yourself up. What you're doing is you're living life in jail. Better to, if you're going to, better to say, you know what? I'm going to go out and work because at least you'll get the sense of satisfaction of going to bed exhausted, but your money is coming in. You need to go into life overdrive. Overdrive on the self-improvement. Zero excuses. No women. Zero. And then the highest levels of accountability. You need to confess too. You need to confess to your friends. I am a fuck up. Dude, I'm, I'm 35 years old and I'm still living life like a teenager. My wardrobe is like a teenager. My income is like a teenager. I date like I'm dating a teenager guy. Matter of fact, if I lost the job I have right now, there's no way I'd be able to go out and get another job making this much money because I have no skills. I've been living life like uh, like a teenage boy. And I'm going to tell you, I, I've met, I know dudes out there, good dudes. Men don't work, haven't worn a suit since high school. Don't own one. What's in your closet? Nothing. I'm like, how do you get to life? And, 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 and it's not even just a matter of income. Some dudes actually make enough money to afford all these things, but they don't live a life like it. I'm like, so it's one thing to not have the money, but if you do have the money and your wardrobe and your appearance still looks like a boy, you're still a boy. You may have more money than the first guy, so you feel like, ah, oh, I'm better than that. Okay, but what are you doing in your life? If you're living a life to where you are not exposed to anything that you wouldn't have been exposed to as a teenage boy, Houston, we have a problem. You have to get really clear on what should a 30, let's just say a 30 year old man, a 30 year old man and, and a 21 year old man should be living two different lives. The 21 year old man needs to be out there chasing it. You know, I would expect the 20, the 18 to 21 year old to be at spring break, college parties, drinking, chasing skirts, you know, hitting the gym heavy, you know, but at 30, I would expect that to be way out of your system. You still go out, but you're not going to the, you know, coin beer night places. You're not going to the, you know, the 18 and up clubs. You're at least going to the 25 and up clubs if you're still going out. But you, at 30, you should be out of that clubbing phase. You should be going to lounges and things like that. Because you will be the old fucking man in the club. And at 35, this stuff should really be out of your system. At 40, the only time you end up going to a club like that I just referred to is if you happen to go back home for the holidays and you meet some friends out. 40-year-olds in the 21 and up club is a pervert. You're lame and a loser. So the highest levels of accountability. See, one thing that people hate about Kevin Samuels is his delivery. But your delivery, 
Especially when you're talking to men. When you're talking to women, it's different. You got to talk nicely, you feel me? But when you're talking to men, it doesn't matter how he says it. As long as what he's saying is true. He's speaking facts, you feel me? We need, as men, we need to get our life together. We need to have our own crib and own car before you even think about dating. Before you even think about going to the club, you feel me? That's the type of stuff I'm trying to be on. That's the type of timing I'm trying to be on. This is why I listen to people like this. I only listen to people I want to be like in life. Why would I listen to somebody that I don't want to be like? Why would I listen to you, old man over there sitting on a block talking about you You a super gangster and all this? You still on the block. You still serving nicks and dimes. You in your 40s. You in your 50s. I'm not judging. I'm just speaking facts. You feel me? You want to make it a reality? You got to do what reality requires of you in order to make it and not live in a false world. A lot of these people in this world be living in. False worlds they be living in. You going to have to confess to some folks around you. I'm living life on file. And this is why you're going to go have to hire mentors, life coaches, and everything else. The question I really wanted to ask, are you competent enough to live your life as an adult? Oh shit, but I didn't want to put that in the chat room. The question I wanted to ask is, are you really competent enough to run your own life? I mean, ask yourself a question. If you weren't you, can somebody say, are you really competent enough to be considered to be called a man? I mean, let me say this again. Let's say you a 40 year old dude and you, you don't, you ain't never owned a suit, never owned a suit. You got a job and you paying your bills. So that's cool. You're surviving, but life is not supposed to be surviving. Life is supposed to be thriving. I you know why you avoid a mirror? Because you know, you don't want to look yourself in the eye. See, Men who are competitive and women who are beautiful have no problem being out there because even if they lose the game, they're still in it. So many guys today use this tag of introvert as, a, as an outright lie. I'm about to say it, and I don't mean no harm, but so many guys today are using the tag introvert where the tag loser would have been 20 years ago. That doesn't mean you're mad and king. That means you're bummed. This means you're a loser. And here's what a loser was 20, 30 years ago. A guy who was just working a work a day gig, he'd come home after working in his one bedroom apartment, he'd turn on the TV because there was no cable, he'd click on ABC, NBC, CBS, whatever he had, and he'd watch whatever local programming was, may grab a beer, and he'd go put a Hungry Man or a Swanson's TV dinner in the oven. Or he'd go eat some shit like some sardines or some Vienna sausages and crackers. He'd eat, you know, spaghetti week, SpaghettiOs, hot dogs. So he's eating. He's got his own place. I mean, he may have a car. It's not, it's not the, you know, it's older model, 10, 15 years held together, you know, it's not dirty, but it's, you know, he ain't riding the way he want to. And then you look at this dude and ask him, dude, you're 35 years old. Is this what you thought you would be when you were a little boy? When you were eight years old, did you think you'd be this? No, but that was a, we called those guys losers. And those guys knew they were losing. See, we got too many guys today who are losing and blaming on everything blaming everything and everybody else you feel me what he's saying may sound a little bit harsh but and men we got to live in reality we can't we can't be living in these false worlds no more you feel me i made this youtube channel in order to encourage men to chase the life they want to improve themselves you feel me because i'm trying to chase the life i want and improve myself and me doing it trying to be the proof is helping encourage you hopefully you feel me we got to be honest with ourselves if we're not honest with ourselves we're not going to reap the rewards that we want to get out of life anything else life is not meant to be survived it's meant to be thrived said i'm definitely not living life like i should be well understand something if you're not living life like you should be then there is only there's only one thing to do you have to go into overdrive on self-improvement and you're not qualified to do it yourself. Again, I don't mean to be rude. I'm not trying to be hurtful, but you're not competent enough to run this part of your life. Man, 
if you guys enjoyed this video let me know i'll react to more videos like this and even create more videos like this because i feel like this message is being misinterpreted people act like this message is toxic to want to improve to want to become the best version of yourself it's not toxic to want better for yourself it's toxic to live in a false world to blame everything and everybody else for why you're not successful you know a problem what i see in my people the black community we blame the white man for everything and yeah, there's a lot of crazy things that go on in this society and a lot of disadvantages that we're born with. You feel me? But we can become successful. We're going to have to force the success. We're going to have to make it happen by working hard with our bare hands. It's possible. Look at all these successful men that exist in this day and age. Steph is cold. Kevin Samuels. LeBron James. So many, like, it's just so many successful black men out here living life to the fullest. So if they could do it, you could do it because we are all only human. If Jay-Z could become great, you could become great. But leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel, please, because I'm trying to grow and spread this message to more people. And peace, y'all.